uh, this life is not easy as many may look and look at it and be like ah, because I'm financially okay right now doesn't mean that tomorrow you can be financially okay because what inspired me or what has motivated me to share those words is that a few months ago I encountered a few challenges and in facing these few challenges I felt that I need to look for a small side hustle or a certain type of job to back up my finances and unfortunately I felt with a job that I wanted to raise that money and it was a bit depressing but that's not the main reason why I've made this video. Uh, I met a girl, that's a lady who also studies from the same university as me and who and she treated me poorly and poorly I mean that we were renting at a certain place and we used to share a room with a certain colleague of mine and unfortunately that colleague never left the key around he went to meet someone so he overstayed there so that girl had the key had a copy of the key to the gate so that you can access and enter the premises but that girl what made me so bitter or feel bad towards her is that she treated me in a way that I feel that even if they're just helping me don't treat me in, in a way that you're despi despising me today you may have what you have right now but it, within very few minutes you may not it may disappear so the way she treated me I felt even if because you cannot fail to greet someone because greeting it shows that it shows courtesy even those people who inbox me if you don't know me and I don't know you first first of all introduce your name and what you want from me yeah so for her she never greeted me there's a certain way she looked at me as if I'm rubbish you know that I as if you're looking at someone as if for them they, their life doesn't matter that's the way she treated me. I sat down over on the floor at the gate. And she just came and looked at me and was like, You, what are you doing here? She never even greeted me. Ah, and I just told her, I'm waiting for a certain colleague of, of mine, but he has the key, but he hasn't come. So she just entered and then closed the gate instead of allowing me to enter and then then at least I get shelter because it was even a very shiny day but unfortunately or fortunately that's how she treated me and I felt so 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 bad so after because I was that guy who never had money and was a little bit even I was very shabby by the way if you look at my dress code right now and my dress code then that was last year you, there is a very big difference difference so i got some money then i invested in some clothes and i also changed my lifestyle because someone who looks at me right now knows that i have money yes i have a little bit of money whereby i do some influencing i do some small gigs for those restaurants uh, schools universities or on social media just to get a living yeah those are a few of, of my side hustles but by then I had nothing but the way she treated me I felt it was undeserving because even if you see someone who is a stranger at least you greet at least say hello instead of 
pretending as if nothing matters because she's okay but she may let me say she has gotten an accident and she needs people to help her will i be in position so that's how that event went or transpired then this year i managed to see her again around and i was transformed my dress code is no longer like i'm no longer in those drugs of last year i'm now a different person so i meet her and she felt so shy and she because i know she knows me and she still remembers the event that transpired because i remember that particular friend when he came hey, he apologized now oh, it's okay hey, i understand i yeah, don't be annoyed with that girl that girl is like that no but no that girl is not like that that girl lacks someone to tell her the truth that the way you're behaving is is not proper so for me i just left it at that and i said it's okay it's a no it's not a very big deal so i continued with my life so seeing her this year i even saw her today and she was looking so miserable the person who was very fine last year was having everything despising everyone but now looking so miserable what is the lesson you're learning that in this world that today you have tomorrow you don't have but you need to treat people with dignity not only just dignity but with respect because i know we all come from very different from very different backgrounds that you may find that your family is providing each and everything but for me i'm hustling to ensure that i'm also planning that my kids will achieve the same success or the level of success that you the person who is being provided for everything is we all get the same equal opportunity yeah so i felt bad and from that it has inspired me it's, it's like my turning point that much as i was despised because of the way i was i never stopped that someone can look at you today and thinks that today is your end but that's not the end today you may be suffering tomorrow you're driving tomorrow you're getting a better job tomorrow the dress code changes tomorrow you become financially stable so but the people that you despise right now can transform and become better people given that they have life the moment that someone still has life that means the opportunity is still there and they can still work very hard to change the, today's habits and then become better individuals thank you so much i know the video has been a little bit emotional but i felt i wanted to relieve this thing from my chest because every time i would see her i would just remember that particular day but today i saw her and i said no i had to remove it from my chest she's feel she feels guilty by the way but i played my part and i played it cool much as that she despised me and she treated me the way she wanted as if i was a drug but now i'm no longer that drug i'm now somebody somebody very important somebody very respectable respectable someone of integrity someone who is transformed so for those who encounter such challenges was such behavior it's unfortunate that such things still happen in today's civilized civilized world as we call it that we are civilized but someone who is civilized can't treat someone like that because i, I even remember seeing a video a certain white who helped a, a, a poor person on tiktok and i was like yeah that's good and after when this white posted the video of him helping 
then someone from of course a white community commented on his video and say that why are you helping such kind of people eh, the white responded in a way that I felt yes you cannot treat people in a way that because you cannot become racist because helping it doesn't work people who do help philanthropy these are people who pay billions and billions of money to people they don't even know yeah so that's it but people who behave in such a way should also be considering that the person you're despising right now can transform and become somebody important so don't live a life of regret that you had an opportunity to help someone but you failed to use it because of your ego just let your ego down and at least help that person you can help even if you're not in capacity at least greet somebody so that the person can feel loved person can feel respected and because by greeting somebody you will not your dignity will remain with you your integrity will remain with you your respect will remain with you but when you don't greet somebody it's a different story by the way much as i am someone who is if i know you i greet you if i don't know you and you look at me i can still greet you so that's it from me but such a behavior needs to be dropped and we do something as important because we have very many people in this world and the moment you treat somebody better next time it will be you your son your kid your son and kid it's, it's all the same so that's a repetition yeah so helping very important and the reward is significant so if you have a chance and you have the capacity to help somebody just help because these are earthly things today I have tomorrow I don't have or to, uh, today I don't have tomorrow I have but if I help someone I can still in turn be helped my kids can still be helped my family can still be helped my relatives can still be helped. Thank you so much. I have a lovely.